it's 1 for 0, and then for 1, you get 4. So 1 half is between that, so it has to be somewhere between. But I know it's 2.5, but how would you get that? And where did that come from? I mean, what, would there be like um, some kind of... Okay. I can't really think of it. I'm getting lost in this. Are you thinking like the... I'm getting lost in that right now. Does the, does the um, one half really have to be between that? Or is it like well, logically? Or is it really... Or well, would it equal the same thing? Or what half is it like? What half is it like? just multiplying itself by a certain... Multiplying it by itself for how many times? But one half is, I, is somewhere... It's more than zero. And it's more than one. And so how could it be more than how do you know it's more than I mean it's less than one, my bad. Um and it's obviously it's halfway between them. But what if it's not so the number would have to be halfway between them. But what if it's not halfway between them? So how do you know that then? Now let's think about it this way. If you took four to the second power and four to the fourth power. Okay. Now, using what you just said. Would that mean that 4 to the 3rd power has to be halfway between 4 to the 2nd and 4 to the 4th? But it's not true. It would have to be So is that, is that going to work? I need to check it. Right now. Right? 4 to the 2nd. Or, right, 4 to the 2nd power. Okay, and then underneath that right, 4 to the 1 half power. Okay. Now, let's think about how are two and one half related to each other? Um, two, um, one half is, one, is two divided by one, and two is two, so that means that they're even. Wait, well, no. no. You're right. Two, yeah. two and one half, two is half of a half. But how is two, okay, so let's, let's do another one. Let's go uh, four to the third power. And then what do you think I'm going to ask you to write four next? Four to the one third. Okay, do that. Okay, now how are those related? Um, oh, wait, they're both identical. Um, because wait, no. the denominator, it's three, this is three over one, and this is one over three. Right, it's three over one and one over three. Yeah, so wait, so when you multiply, when you multiply these, would that be like it because that'd be dividing? Well, so right here, right here with four squared, this, what is this, what is this x want to tell me to do right here? Um, multiply four, four by four times. Telling me how many times I'm going to multiply the four, right? Yeah. So what could the one half be telling me to do then? It tells you how many times to multiply the four. No, how many times to divide by two? No, no. multiply because you can't divide. So, so would you agree that addition and subtraction are opposites of each other? Yes. They're, in, they're what we call inverse operations, right? Yes. Okay, so what about multiplication and division? They're, they're inverses of each other, right? So what's the inverse of a power? Uh, um, I think I know, well, I know what the name is, but I can't think of it. Um, well, so the inverse, right, this tells me to... Wait, oh. What? The inverse property of multiplication says that, um, like, if we have 4, or A times A, or wait, A, a times 1 over A is 1, right? So would it be 1? True. So the answer would be 1. Right? Would it be 1? Why would it yeah. be 1? I don't know. Because the inverse property, it would be... Um, Are you telling us to add that? Like, the rule is A, I need to see it, A times 1 over A is 1. So that means that um, 4, if we plug in a number for this, Okay, so you got a good idea. So go yeah. four to the one half power. Four to the one half power. Now, now put that in parentheses and raise that whole thing to the second power. Now, now what's that going to equal? Mm. Two. One. Wait, yeah, one. Right. So, so work it out. Tell me what you get. Four to the one half to the second equals what? Uh, you multiply the exponents, right? Is that the rule? Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Two over one, so four to the second. Right? One to the first. No, but... Didn't you just say that A times one over A equals one? Oh, yeah. 
one. So you don't multiply yeah. the two by the two on the bottom. Yeah. You multiply the two by the two yeah. on the top. So yeah. two over two, which is one. So it'd be four with an exponent of one, which is just four. So it'd be four to the first. Okay. So if that equals four to the first, now let's think about that for a second. Okay. Go ahead. It equals four. Now, what number, right? Yeah. What number to the second power is equal to four? Two. Okay. So that means four to the one half power has to equal what? Two. So if four to the one half power equals two, what do you think the one half power is telling you to do? No, multiply it by point five. To multiply by point five. Okay. Try it with a base of three now. Same idea. Okay. So we have. Three to let's go three to the fifth power. Fifth, and then we have three to the one fifth. To the one fifth. Now, take three to the one fifth. Three to the one fifth. To the fifth power. So put that all in parentheses. Okay. And, then, and what's that going to equal? Uh, three to the first. Okay. So what number could I raise to the fifth power to get three? Okay. So what number to the what number can I square to get three? No, no, no. Don't don't take it to a decimal. Exactly. What can you do? What number can I multiply times itself to get three? Point. Is it going to be a rational number or not? No. Okay, so what's it going to be then? If it's going to be an irrational number, what, what do you think it's going to be? Zero point five. Keep going with the decimal, you're never going to get there. So we've been playing with, with three to the one half power squared equals three. Where's the other one? Four to the one half power, right? Squared equals four. What do you think five to the one half power squared is going to equal? Okay, 58 to the one half power squared is going to equal what? Oh, is it the same number? So this would be three, right? Well, that's what we just did. Yeah. The exponent of one half squared would equal three. Well, what's the opposite of squaring something? Isn't that kind of what you're doing? Yeah. What's the opposite of squaring something? Um, dividing by four. Is it? Is it always no, dividing no, by four? No, 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 no. Dividing it by itself. No, no, dividing it. By so 3 squared is what? 3 squared nine. is 9. 9. Now how do I go backwards from 9 to get to 3? Divided by 3. So the negative? There's another way of doing it other than just dividing by 3. 4, four squared equals what? 4 squared is what? 16. Okay. And how can I take 16 and work back to 4? Subtracting 4. No. Um, oh, um, subtracting four, um, what, subtracting four to the third? Divide. Oh, like that thing where you, like, um. That thing, what thing? Square root, square root, square root. Yeah. Yeah. That thing, yeah. Square root. That. That thing? Square root. Yeah. The square root. Okay. You think it's the square root? Yeah. So does that work for all of them? Yeah. 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 Okay, so what do you think the one-half power actually means then? Square root. You think so? Yeah.